one big rip down the middle, oh, buzzing my head. <sighs> I'm also bald, so there's no turning back. I went to my barber and I, it was started on this side right here. I'm like, oh yeah, I had this you know temporary hair loss. Just it's just from stress. Can I try to keep playing it off? Just no Dude, way, I'm bro. Ah! I'm feeling the nerves. No, bro, just go. All right. Oh, oh, you can't turn back. <laughs> He, he didn't point it out, but I said, hey, I had like this thin spot, you know, could you like kind of fix it? And, you know, my wife was there actually. She's like, yeah, can you like part it to the other side? I'm like, yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah, there's no turning back. <laughs> Man, your hair grows in like really thick still though, on the sides at least. Slowly but surely just started getting worse and worse. You know, I started a job at an architecture firm. It was pretty stressful. Try my best, try to work as hard as I can. I felt like I was always falling behind and with the work and whatnot. In 2017, I met my now wife. Like all the men on here, they tried all of the, your, your Rogaine and whatnot. And... Bro. I'm just going straight around. I don't remember someone what it looks like yet. It, it was just so taxing, just trying to hide it, just trying to, you know, parted a certain way, you know, the wind, that's your worst enemy. It was just so exhausting, just trying to hide it, trying to look a certain way so no one would see. It's like mowing a lawn. You actually don't look bad. A lot of people don't. Sure. I want to get up, get dressed and go. I don't throw out my hair anymore. Dude, Dude honestly, funny. I was like looking in the mirror like, 17 times a day. My boss actually noticed, he's like, hey, your, your hairline's looking a little sparse. I'm like, what? One of the big factors that ramped up my hair loss was one of my coworkers uh, passed away actually. Got hit by a drunk driver. Um, wow, sorry um, to hear that. So he was one of my good friends. You know how you you know, you know have a really good coworker that you're close work, with. Yeah. And, um, that was the biggest factor of, of one of my stress situations, I guess, which yeah. plays into um, hair loss. Yeah, you were. You're losing some hair there, my friend. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could tell from how it's grown. What about you know the drugs or the surgery? And mm -hmm. was that something that you kind of looked into? Surgery never kind of crossed my mind. Yeah. Um, my wife mentioned a toupee, but I, no, I don't know. You just, just got to keep up with it so much, and it's like I said, it's just so taxing on your mental state, and you're constantly looking in the mirror. Why don't you just do Bosley? You'd have to keep up with it so much, man. The minute you stop using it, your hair starts to fall out again. Mm -hmm. I use Bosley actually for a minute. I use Rogaine and Bosley. There's not a, when you're going bald, there's not a ton you can do. I mean, Majority of men, what I've noticed is just a self-confidence thing. No yeah. one's gonna really care whether you come back bald or not. I've come to terms with it, and I've I've gotten a lot of my like, confidence through it. I just like talking to friends. One of my best friends, uh, Trent, he was one that lost his hair maybe like 18. I'm also bald. I've come to terms with it. Like I said, I've. I've gotten more confident and I'm ready. It's been a long time coming. It's been three long years, a lot of stress added to it. I'm ready. And I haven't had a doubt in my mind since then. Don't get tied up in social media. Don't get tied up in what other people look like. Everyone else is unique to themselves. And if you can be confident with how you look, that's all it is, man. So this is the new look. <laughs> Probably oh, yeah. gonna go a little bit shorter, but yeah, thanks Trent. No problem. So, he's one of my best friends and he helped me go bald. So, thanks. I mean, dude, how is ever How are you feeling? Talk to me. So, funny enough, uh, the best way to show off my head, so I, I play at my church and I think we have like a congregation of like a thousand people each week. And I was really? playing wow. that weekend. So, and I'm like, well, this is the best way to show your new uh, look. And Definitely. sure enough, everyone's like, whoa, what happened to your hair? I'm like, they're like, they're like, I never... Uh, really looked, but yeah, yeah, your, your hair is going, but like you look really great. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, bald guys like on staff there, like security guys. They're like, yeah, man, you're gonna like, <laughs> like, like welcome good. to the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but it was it was good. All positive things. You had really interesting dynamics, the three of you, where you had like you know the guy who dealt with it years ago. You've got you who's like kind of in the moment, all sorts going on. And then your other friend who's very, who was really like nonchalant because he's not, it's not something he's like ever probably thought about or, or mm -hmm. dealt with. And I thought that you did well because it's very easy in those moments when you hear kind of like, I think your friend was like, he, he was set every now and again, he'd say things like, now, nah, like, I really love my hair or like, now, nah, like my hair's really important to me, you know? And I was so just thinking like for some guys, that that would really play on their mind you know yeah. but i just thought you know in that moment i thought oh you did really well kind of just saying like how it was how you felt about it and stuff like that mm -hmm. in those moments it 
obviously goes back to like self confidence and everything. So yeah, uh, <laughs> one of my friends are like, you look like an egghead. I'm like, great, great, that's yeah. great. Because yeah. I'm like, you can't let like little stupid stuff like that get to you. Because like, if you if your self confidence isn't there, like, what's the point of you know? Yeah. And it's so. also a thing like I think there's so much misconception and stuff around like so many people have it focused on this this thing of it being like primarily a, an appearance thing. I always include the chats like this because for me that's what it's about. You know, for a guy to be able to say like, yeah, dude, like I actually feel great, like it feels mm -hmm. way better. And it's yeah. interesting the the person who's actually in it is saying like, I feel so much better. But the mm. outside world is all like, oh, yeah, it looks really good. Or do you know what I mean? There's, there's like, yeah. a, there's like a, a real disconnect there. And also, like, just taking that action on it, comments like that, they don't have that sig any sort of significance anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. after you, when you said, like, you know, I'm tired of worrying about it. Like, I'm tired of having to do my hair all the time and spend ages doing that and checking it all the time. Yeah. That's what it's about. Since, like, I, um, you know, buzz my head, like, it, it's just like that that worry and that constantly like looking in the mirror is just gone it mm. you know it's gone i don't have to worry like if i'm looking good in the gym you know my hair is positioned right like, it's gone like i don't have to worry about it and it's it's nice because you just get up in the morning and just take off and like i know i've been trying to like exfoliate my head because i do have someone like a healthy scalp and everything but uh mm. other than that it's yeah it's just so much simple like you just pretty much just body showers at that point you know you're just you know i don't know i don't know what you do spe specifically for your hair or for your for your scalp not a just, lot really yeah just yeah, um, <laughs> yeah nothing, nothing specific <laughs> like era, right? every every probably the only like being totally honest probably the only thing i do like extra is sometimes if if you know those mornings where it's like cold or something you want to spend extra in the shower i will yeah. actually like shampoo my head or something just because i'm like i just want to be in here longer you know and that yeah. extra step kind of gives you that because otherwise dude like a shower's what it's like it's so quick you know exactly. um because i'm not spending ages doing all this and yeah or, or actually this interesting what i was doing is i would be washing my hair but i would do it i would think like in my head if i maybe do it like softly like less hair will fall out yeah it sounds so you know what i mean like i need to be careful with it when i'm <laughs> it sounds so, <laughs> so, so dumb but i was doing that what are your thoughts about like the experience the journey it like as a whole up until this point like when i was starting to like lose my hair and everything like all i was doing and what a lot of guys do is just stress themselves out you know like if you know you know for sure and you can see in your family line that you're losing your hair like own it i mean own yeah. it be confident and if it's just hair at the end of the day you know we're all gonna grow old don't stress about hair it's hair yeah just don't don't stress about it because like i i did that and i was losing more hair from it it, it was yeah. ridiculous looking back at it you know constantly looking in the mirror and whatnot and it's just it was just stupid i have no regrets shaving my head and then you know i had amazing friends i had my best friend trent that shaved my head he um he went through it he's like bro you're gonna rock it just own it man yeah so i'm like and i i always said like i never want to be the guy that covers up i don't want to wear hats i don't want to wear beanies like when i was on stage someday just rocked it just rocked it and i was confident and people were like you look really good so so and i think people man. see that confidence you know like oh he's not covering up he's just like rocking his you know his ball look that's the most important thing dude you did it and yeah. um it's, it's great yeah it, i step a big congratulations from me for like taking that step yeah you know? and it's and it's always a pleasure to be able to share these these stories and stuff as well so i really really appreciate that